All right, number 30 is why Moshiach? What's that concept of Moshiach? Why do we have that big thing about Moshiach? It looks like everybody is crazy about Moshiach. So let's try understand um, what Moshiach is uh, a little bit. First of all, we have to understand, originally, um, Moshiach was not such, such a big thing. Um, Mosh, the concept of Moshiach, it doesn't speak about Moshiach directly in the Torah. It says, oh, Moshiach is going to come and, you know, save the Jewish people and whatever, or the world and everything. It doesn't say anything like that in the Chumash. At least not directly. Um, but so what, when did it become really a big thing? It became a big thing when the Jews started going into exile. And when uh, we start living a, a life where we start losing hope. And um, also, especially at the time of the Christian um, you know, movement, the religion when it started, um, where people, when people, when start, people start losing hope and people are very down, they're looking for a savior, they're looking for a hero, they're looking for someone they can rely on so that everything will be over. So the Jewish people saw that, uh, you know, especially with Christianity, it was an easy way out. What does Christianity do? Oh, all your problems, all your sin, don't worry, put your life in Jesus and you'll be fine, you can go to heaven. Uh, it's a cop-out, it's an it's a, it's a easy way out. Um, Judaism doesn't believe in that. You have to fix what you do wrong, you have to deal with it yourself and um, there's no easy way out. Um, so we need, we need the Ju Judaism needed to um, even though there was a level of Moshiach connected to Judaism, it became much stronger in time of Christianity so that um, uh, Jews will not all fall into that trap, so to speak, of going uh, with that um, ultimate savior that gives us hope and, and everything will be fine, we just have to go through, um, uh, which is understandable, it's human nature, but, but it was... It, 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 uh, in order to prevent the Jews from just going everywhere where they had that concept, they made sure to emphasize much stronger the concept of Moshiach in Judaism. So the Talmud, you know, in Sanhedrin, it speaks the whole thing about, uh, about Moshiach and uh, all the details. But basically, Moshiach is an, an, the anointed one. Moshiach is that um, represents not just a person, it, pre it represents a time when we are all going to experience the end of time, when we're going to experience the revelation of God. Uh, they, it is, it, uh, Moshiach, I mean, there's many people who could have been Moshiach. Moshiach is the person who knows how to create harmony, how to bring the, uh, the world together. Um, and we want that leader, we want that leader. But um, God is much more interested in us becoming... Uh, um, fixing the thing. We should not have someone else do it. Moshe is not important. Moshe is only important at the end in, in, in bringing things together, but we don't need Moshe. We are the Moshe. We are the one who are bringing the world together and fixing the world together. Um, uh, we want to be the one who brings Moshe. Not that Moshe has to bring us to God. So, um, so, however, Moshe, the good, good part of Moshiach is that it helps us to understand that um, there's going to be that time and time is running out and we have the ability to accelerate the things and to bring that time uh, closer and take away the suffering in the world and all that. Um, so, um, Moshe Rabbeinu was supposed to be Moshiach, David was supposed to be Moshiach, those were the soul that had that potential to bring everything together. Um, and we, we, we want Moshiach to come, but we have to make sure that we don't um, just rely on that and just go through our daily routine and just hoping it's going to come, it's going to come. Um, it's, it's unhealthy, and what if it doesn't come in this generation, then you have waited for nothing and you didn't do anything with your life. So you have to make sure that Moshiach is not just uh, you know, a cop-out. Um, the Vina Gaon in Kol Hator explains that these two, um, we know these two concepts of Moshe, Moshe ben Yosef, Moshe ben David, which is two specific times. Moshe ben Yosef is the time we are now, and uh, it's not doesn't necessarily refer to one person. Um, Moshe ben David will be one king, one person who is going to direct the entire world. 
and show the world um, uh, how to connect to God at the highest level, answer all the questions. Moshe ben Yosef is uh, just like Yosef with his brother, brought the brothers back to, um, to, to together uh, and explain why there was so much suffering or help the, the, the process actually. Of, of, of going from Galut to Geula, exile to redemption, um, and, and, and then we have today many people that can be Moshe Ben Yosef. You can be Moshe Ben Yosef. I can be Moshe Ben Yosef. Moshe Ben Yosef is not just one person. It's all the people who participate in the ingathering of, of the Jews, of the unity in the world, of bringing harmony to the world. Um, and And... It's up to us if we want to choose to be part of that. Um, so those are the basic basic ideas of Moshiach. There's much more, but I think um, this is why there's Moshiach. There is Moshiach because uh, we understand there's going to be a final time when there is going to be all the questions answered and um, that we have the ability to bring that redemption, bring that time of Moshiach um, and... Um, and that that's going to be a time of tremendous. We have to prepare. It's a preparation. Get ready. When 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 Moshe is going to come. When everything is going to come. Are you going to be ready? Are you are you going to be um, uh, happy um, and uh, not humiliated? And you did your part, your mission in the world. Um, okay. So that's that's the basic idea.